I have loved the Alien franchise for years now, and it's one of those rare franchises where no matter how bad the films may get, I can always find something to appreciate about the film, even if it completely fails in every other aspect. For example, Alien 3, though it's not my favourite in the series, I can at least see what they were trying to do and it does have some good elements to it and even Alien Resurrection even though it is a bit of a hodgepodge of a film and there's too many different things going on there are still certain ideas that I can appreciate even if they're not fully executed as well as they wanted to. Even slightly newer films in the series like Prometheus and Alien Covenant which I know have received very mixed reception over the years are two films that I personally loved on first viewing and I still love watching them now to this day mainly because I appreciate the fact that they were trying to do something completely different in the series. However, as much as I really appreciated those two films trying new things and exploring ideas that we'd not really seen in the franchise at that point, when I heard that Fede Alvarez was directing Alien Romulus and that he was going to bring it back to its roots in terms of it being very straightforward and simple and just focusing more on horror, I can't deny that I was more than excited. Because again, as much as I love what Prometheus and Alien Covenant were trying to do, I do also like when a series can go back to its basics and in the sake of Alien Romulus, does it really well. I was really excited for this film. I think this was one of my most anticipated films right behind Deadpool and Wolverine and Dune Part 2. Um, and I'm just gonna cut right to the point. This film really delivered for me. Um, I know it's been getting a few mixed reviews um, online and some things I can kind of understand, but for me, it worked in doing what it needed to do and it did it very, very well. First up, I have to commend Fede Alvarez's direction because he just gets this franchise. This film is set about 20 years after the first Alien and it feels perfectly set within that time frame. Like all of the equipment that you see in the film and all the technology feels like it was ripped straight out of the 70s and 80s version of the Alien universe that we know from those first two films and I really appreciate the little attentions to detail in that sense and it really does put you back into that era of this series. But on top of that you've got cinematography that looks genuinely stunning, you've got practical and visual effects that look phenomenal as well. I think what they do with the practical face huggers and the practical xenomorph are genuinely really impressive. Um, and if you've seen a lot of the behind the scenes videos uh, that have been going around online, then you'll know just how terrifying those things look in the flesh. Plus the score for the film is great and also the sound design is impeccable as well. So everything from a technical perspective is spot on. This is everything I wanted this film to be in terms of a technical aspect and it just delivers in all of those areas and I really appreciate it again all of those finer details that you may have missed on the first viewing that you can go back to because even though the story for this film is fairly straightforward there's still a lot of things that our fans of the series are going to appreciate and you can tell that it's made by someone that is a fan of the series as well. I also really liked the characters in this film as well. I think one of the problems I had with Alien Covenant is that outside of one or two characters everyone else was just expendable and I didn't know or care who they were and if they were going to die. I, the, the film did make legitimate attempts to try and get me to care but because of the pace of the film and the way the events played out I just knew that they were going to die and I didn't really care about them. Whereas with Alien Romulus, the film really makes a big deal from the word go to get you to care about this group of characters. And this is the first time probably since Aliens that I've legitimately cared about this core cool group of characters that you're presented with. There are still some knobs in there, like one character specifically called Bjorn, who acts a bit like a dick for most of the runtime, but even him, to an extent, can be quite endearing at times, despite how annoying he can be in others. So even then, you do still care for a lot of these characters and you don't want to see them die, even though you know they're going to because it's an alien film. 
and I don't think these characters would have worked as well as they did if it wasn't for the performances. You've got a great cast of young upcoming talent that all do brilliant jobs in this film, but the two standouts in my opinion are the two lead performances which are Kaylee Spaney and David Johnson. Their performances are fantastic in this film. Kaylee Spaney's having a fantastic year with Priscilla and Civil War and now this. I think she's fantastic in the film and David Johnson is just fantastic in this movie. If you saw him in last year's Rye Lane, then you will know how good of an actor he is. And he really brings a lot of depth and nuance to his character. There is a certain aspect to his character that I'm not gonna go into detail with because it's spoiler territory and I know there's some people watching this who haven't seen the film yet. But again, considering that aspect of his character, I think he does a really good job in playing quite a bit of complexity into the character that we are initially presented with. This film also surprised me in a few areas because even though I was expecting a simple story and it to just focus primarily on the horror, which for the most part this film does, there are certain elements where the film manages to tie into the wider alien universe and I honestly was not expecting the film to go out of its way and do that because I was just expecting something simple, straightforward and horror focused and the fact that it went out of its way to appeal to certain aspects of the alien universe that didn't necessarily need to be there but they did anyway I thought was a nice touch. I know some people will probably see it as fan service. I personally didn't see it as that because I, th I feel like every time they did link to the wider alien universe it was in complement to the story and that's why I thought these certain elements worked. There's one specific thing that shows up in the film uh, and ends up becoming more important to the film than you initially think and I'm not going to say why because again it's a spoiler but it's something that a lot of people are not particularly clicking with with this film and again I can completely understand why it's not working for a lot of people. For me, I thought this element worked for the sake of the story. Was it shown a bit too much in the film? Yes, I feel like they could have drawn back on the amount of times it's used. But that being said, I thought its placement in the film was fine for the sake of the story and it made logical sense in terms of where the story played out. There is one element to this film that kind of surprised me and that's the fact that I thought it was going to be a lot gorier than it ended up being. Knowing what Fede Alvarez's previous films are like, especially his remake of The Evil Dead. I was expecting this film to be very intense, very brutal and very gory. Again, a lot of the trailers and posters for this film kind of hinted at that. But with that being said, in the film as a whole, there are still some incredibly gruesome kills and gnarly effects, but I just thought the film was going to go a bit further with those things. Again, knowing what Fede Alvarez's previous films have been like and especially considering how gory and brutal Alien Covenant ended up being. But anyway, minor nitpicks aside, I absolutely loved Alien Romulus and I think the issues that the film does have are nowhere near enough to weigh the film down for me. Also, I feel like Alien Romulus along with last year's The Creator and then Dan Trachtenberg's Prey from the Predator series are brilliant recent examples of what a filmmaker can do with just the right budget. This film's budget was 80 million, the budget for the creator was also 80 million, and I think the budget for Prey was only something like 16 million, yet those films look great, they understand what they are, and they do a good job of working within those limitations to tell a compelling story with incredible visuals and sound. And the fact that those films do that with the budgets they have kind of just proves that you don't need a hundred million or two hundred million to go on a specific film and it ends up looking and sounding worse than something that cost this much. Anyway those are my thoughts on Alien Romulus I hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments if you've seen the film as well and what you thought of the movie like the video if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.